Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to a brand new week and welcome to today's market updates. Edmund here. So we ended last week with the US dollar gaining strength on a Wednesday and then consolidating on a Thursday and then after strengthening again on a Friday. Okay. So um, the US dollar is currently um, in a consolidation phase. However, it came up from a very good support levels of 92.15 and currently it is still on a slightly uh, bullish trend so um, but we got to watch for some resistances in the short term however the near term target would be at uh, 93.83 resistance levels so for today um, monday 24th of august 2020 the, the, the economic calendar is uh, extremely empty today we had the new zealand's uh, quarterly retail sales numbers released at 6.45 a.m. local Singapore time this morning and the numbers came in at negative 14.6% although it was a negative figure it was uh, still marginally better than the negative 16.3% which the markets expected okay so there's an improvement in uh, quarterly retail sales uh, from New Zealand and later tonight at 9 p.m. Singapore time China will be announcing or releasing their monthly conference board leading index numbers again uh, minor data nothing much nothing much to shout about however however please please remember that uh, the uk markets are still operating today and along with the us markets later tonight so we will be expecting uh, movements on the us dollar also later today and also on the uk pound um, and also on the euro dollar together with gold prices okay so uh, nothing much to look for again uh, in terms of economic events today however um, yeah just watch out for the uk and us trading markets so news in focus um, the us dollar strengthened on friday as we saw just now on the charts and uh, finished higher for the week of course uh, there was very a very good set of uh, economic data coming out from the us um, last friday we had the services and manufacturing pmi numbers which came in well above market expectations so this was uh, last Friday's set of data from uh, Europe itself. Uh, we also had some services and manufacturing PMI numbers. The numbers for France came in below market expectations. Uh, the numbers for Germany manufacturing came in above and services came in below market expectations. Eurozone data uh, manufacturing and services uh, came in below market expectations. And for the UK, it was uh, way above uh, market expectations. Manufacturing coming in at 55.3 versus market expectation of uh, 54.0 and services came in at 60.1 above market expectations of 57. Um, towards the evening last Friday, um, the US manufacturing PMI also beat market expectations coming in at 53.6 and services uh, PMI came in at 54.8. Okay, so altogether, um, positive set of numbers for the UK and also the US which are the major economies in the world and also existing home sales uh, in the US increased to 5.86 million um, yeah home sales and property numbers from the US has been increasing or improving for the last uh, three weeks now so it looks like um, there's a healthy sign of uh, um, purchasing activities especially with the low interest rates uh, in the in the US markets and also globally okay so moving on to technical charts analysis um, again we see the US dollar consolidating forming a very good support and moving up on a Wednesday last Wednesday on Tuesday it consolidated and had some retracements and on Friday at uh, 9 plus 5 14 2 p.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time the US dollar strengthens all the way Okay. So, a uh, similar pattern as the US dollar strengthened from 2 p.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time on last Friday, we saw the UK pound uh, weakening from 2 p.m. after testing this uh, resistance again. Okay, after testing this resistance again at 1.3253, then after it started to move down uh, convincingly from 1.3239 levels all the way to to the US trading session touching a low of 1.3060 coming down a total of about 180 pips okay so yeah so as you can see support resistance coming down again to the support levels 
So very nice move for the UK pound on last Friday. Currently, the UK pound has gone quiet um, along with the US dollar. Um, as you can see, the US dollar index is not really moving much and so uh, so is the UK pound. Okay, So it will probably consolidate for a while and uh, if the US dollar does uh, push down, we could see the UK pound uh, push up slightly. Um, immediate re resistance levels or target price will be 1.3154 which is about 60, 60 pips to the upside and if the US dollar uh, pushes up to test this uh, last Friday's uh, resistance again um, if the US dollar does strengthen we could see the UK pound uh, push down further to the next uh, support levels of uh, 1.3044 which is about 50 pips to the downside okay so based on current levels uh, for the UK pound 50 pips to the upside and 50 pips to the downside uh, similar story for the euro dollar again as the US dollar was uh, strengthening on last Friday we do see uh, the euro dollar weakening also at the same time um, 9 plus 5 14 2 p.m. it weakens from 1.1881 all the way to a low of 1.1754 going down about 127 pips okay and again currently it has gone quiet um, Okay, that's gone quiet and to the downside we could be looking at the next uh, target price of uh, 1.1713 which is about 86 pips to the downside and to the upside uh, we could be having a resistance over here at uh, 1.1829 which is about uh, 30 pips to the upside okay so those would be the short term uh, target prices for the euro dollar for today gold prices uh, again um, came down last uh, Wednesday okay coming down about 78 almost 80 dollars okay and uh, consolidated on Thursday and last Friday it continued to um, maintain its uh, bearish bearish tone going down from uh, the morning session about 8 a.m. from 1955 all the way to a low of 1911 US dollars this was about 44 US dollar movements down and then after uh, it rebounded back uh, pretty strongly uh, moving back up 35 US dollars okay so currently um, gold prices will be consolidating uh, but it has a potential to test the the immediate support levels will be at 1924 which is about um, nine dollars to the downside the second support levels will be at 1911 which is about uh, 22 dollars to the downside and to the upside, uh, we could be looking at uh, we could, could be looking for gold to test the recent highs again of one nine five five, which is about twenty two dollars or twenty three dollars to the upside, and the next uh, resistance levels will be at one nine six five, which is about thirty four dollars to the upside. But uh, gold is uh, definitely still in a bearish range, and there's a higher tendency for it to push down uh, rather than up at the moment. Okay. So again, uh, watch out for the UK and US trading sessions. And before you take any buy or sell trade, make sure you understand the latest uh, movements, chart patterns and relevant news before you take a buy or sell trade. Um, silver prices, again, um, it is uh, mirror, mirror, mirroring the movements of gold. Uh, so gold has been going down since last Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So we do see um, silver prices also moving down last Wednesday, Thursday and last Friday. Okay. so currently silver prices are also weak moving on to oil prices oil prices uh, broke through the, the bullish uptrend on uh, last Thursday coming down from $42.72 to a low of $41.67 and managed a very quick recovery however on last Friday uh, again at uh, about 8 plus 5 13 which is 1 p.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time Oil prices pushed down from 42.94 all the way to a low of 41.50, going down one dollars and 44 cents uh, before having a well pretty good recovery um, at about 12 a.m. Uh, last Friday. Recovered all the way to 42 dollars and 39 cents, um, pushing back up 89 cents. Okay, so again, uh, markets are expecting the OPEC countries to gradually increase their oil production again. However, um, the coronavirus situation globally and also the lockdowns 
are still very much in force, meaning that the demand for crude oil, crude oil could still be uh, could be largely subdued due to the uh, lockdowns and quarantines, and people are unable to travel uh, by car, by sea, by air, um, and to to consume more um, oil. Okay, so that is still a major concern. Uh, however, we do see oil prices uh, trying trying very hard to support um, above forty one US dollar levels, which it has done. So um, yeah, so we have to wait and see for newer developments and latest news to see where uh, oil prices can potentially go. Okay, uh, but for me, oil prices has uh, gone sideways uh, for quite some time, for about two weeks now. Uh, not much uh, volatility, volatility and excitement at the moment. So um, I guess we just probably wait and see for it to either decide to move up or down. Okay, but relatively, I think at 40, 41, 42 US dollars, um, it is about the right price for oil prices in terms of global supply and demand at the moment. Okay, S and P five hundred uh, has been testing this uh, resistance of three three nine seven for a couple of days, and uh, currently it is uh, breaking through. Um, 3397 touching a high of 3405 and at the moment it seems like uh, things are pretty rosy for the US uh, equity markets and to a certain extent the US economy um, in terms of again the manufacturing and services PMI numbers and also the recent uh, improvements in the housing uh, numbers in the US okay so um, coupled with the ongoing negotiations um, in the US um, regarding their fourth or phase four of the financial stimulus package. If that one passes Congress and gets approved and uh, um, the financial aid is uh, distributed in the U.S. economy, we could possibly see yeah, maybe the U.S. US uh, equities pushing even higher. Okay? So, um, and of course, the most important booster for all uh, economic activities, if there's a new announcement, on COVID-19, um, the approval of COVID-19 vaccines, um, then of course we could see things start to change dramatically, okay, for the better. And uh, yeah, so a lot of these uh, COVID-19 vaccine trials are in phase three or phase four of uh, testing and approvals. So again, um, I would say from now until the end of September and also the end of October would be very crucial in terms of the, getting the latest uh, progress updates regarding the COVID-19 vaccine. Okay, so yeah, economic calendar a bit quiet, uh, but uh, again, uh, markets are still open. UK and US traders are still around. So watch out for the movements later. If there's not much movement, you can't see anything today, then we will wait for tomorrow. Okay, so have a good trading day ahead and I'll see you again tomorrow for the latest market updates. Have a good day. Thank you. Take care.